Greetings everybody. Welcome to my video on installing Guild Wars 2. The reason I'm making this video is because I had a bug over time trying to install it myself. Um, the guides out there are older and uh, less reliable and they're not, not less reliable. They're not really in depth. So I decided to make a video showing step by step how to install the game and run it. So first thing we gotta do is jump out of Guild Wars. And jump out of there. So the first thing you're gonna need to do is install Play on Linux and Wine. Not particularly in that order, but um, I'll leave a link in the description to where to, how to download them, how to install them, I should say. So first thing we're going to do, let's go to Guild Wars 2, their uh, website, and download the game. Um, you want to download in 64-bit, uh, because this tutorial is 64-bit installer. So you're going to want to download it. It'll download. I've already done so. To find it, you're gonna have to go to the files. By the way, I'm running Ubuntu 16.4.04. Um, download folders here. As you can see, I have Guild Wars 2. So what you're gonna have to do? I already have it installed, so I'm gonna have to skip over some steps, but I should be able to walk you through it. So what you're going to have to do is go to settings. Actually, first, before this, you want to go to your internet browser. Type in Guild ah, can't spell today. Guild Wars 2 Wine HQ. And as you can tell, there are three different wine versions that are tested. I am currently using 2.15 staging. Um, as you can tell, the 3.0 has better rating, but I've noticed that uh, I had lagging issues when playing with that. I had uh, stuttering. It was terrible. Um, almost made it unplayable. Uh, if you're out in them by yourself, it's great. It works beautifully. Uh, but I noticed running unproprietary drivers. I'm running uh, open source drivers. The reason I'm running open source drivers instead of running proprietary drivers is uh, for some reason when I installed the proprietary drivers for my RX 580, uh, the games kept crashing, Linux kept crashing, uh, so I decided to get heck with it and go with open source drivers. And they're working pretty well, I might add. But anyways, I digress. 2.15 staging is what I'm currently using. So, keep that in mind. I'll just minimize that for now. So, what you're going to want to do is manage wine versions. And go make sure you're in 64 bit, because that's what we're going to be using. And download the 2.15 staging or the 3.0 RC3 or. 2.21. Uh, you can go ahead and download all three of them and install them if you want to, and you can test out which one works better for your system after the fact of installing. So, once you do that, go ahead and jump out of there, then click on this plus for install. Type in the little button right here, Guild Wars 2, and then install. Yes. Now it will cut me off a uh, certain way through. And this just gives you it's installing to here, blah blah blah. Next, you don't want to select 64 bit. This is important, 64 bit. And then I won't be able to follow you because I'm not going to delete this because it takes too long for me to download it. I'll just walk you through it. After this, it'll ask you if you give you three options I do believe um, configure wines uh, no 
configure wine settings, wine configurations, and run a different version of wine, and a third option. Anyways, you just want the first two. Um, different wine version and configure your wine. So, in configuring, so the, with naturally, when it's the first one's going to pop up is your wine library. So you're going to want to select the 2.15 dash staging. <coughs> And then after you do, and if it doesn't give you that option, just go with the auto. It's going to crash on you, but it's, it's normal. <clears throat> so uh, then after that, you're going to go into your configuration. So with wine configuration, this, is an, this isn't what you'll get. But with wine configuration, you'll pop up into this right here. Now if you're using 2.15, you'll, you'll get this completely. completely. Um, what you're going to want to do, and by the way, I'm running a, this monitor. You don't want to set them to this precise settings, depending on your monitor resolution. Uh, what you're going to want to do is set them to a lower resolution than what you have. So if you have, like, say, like 1920 by 1080, set it to, like, 1600 by 900. And make sure this emulating virtual desktop is selected. Uh, the reason you want to do that is because if you don't and the game crashes it'll f freeze your system uh, I had a it took me a while to figure that out anyways make sure emulating virtual desktop is selected and then come up here to staging um, you're going to want to en enable CSMT because that just makes it look better <coughs> and then once that's done you want to click OK, get out of it, and you'll run it. It'll either crash or it'll bring up a. Um, let me just run it real quick. It'll bring up a emulated desktop, and look something like this. Um, yours will probably will say installing with for the first part. Um, just let it go ahead and install. It's a big file. It takes it took it takes me at least a day to install it. Uh, I have slower internet speed, uh, but if you have faster internet speed, it might take less time. It might take more time if you have slower than me. And once that's done, you log in. I've already got mine set to auto log in, but you log in, and then you can click play. Once it's done installing and everything, it's all set up. And then it'll launch into here. Now, for me, for some reason, I can't figure out how to get it to uh, auto expand to take up my full monitor, and I can't get it above here. So, what I do is I go to options and set it to the lowest setting. Come over here, I hit the maximize button. And as you can tell, it's full over. Then I come down here and set it to the resolution that I set. As you noticed, I don't have it set to full 1080 uh, because I lose the play button down here. But I digress. Once you do that, then you can play the game. Easy peasy, lemon squeezy. And that's all there really is to it. Uh, really simple. Oh, um, before I forget, um, shoot, I should have said this earlier. Um, hang on a second, let me get out of here. Leave this argument alone, right here. The X9 single and auto login, leave that alone. And for display, I always run OpenGL. You can change. You can leave that default if you like, but I always force it to run an OpenGL. And for memory size, depending on your graphic card, um, if you only have a one gig, you click one gig. If you have four gig, you click four gig. I have an eight gig card, which for whatever reason is not recognized on this, so I just run four gig of memory, and it runs just fine. And that is just about it, fellas. Um, I hope this helped y'all. Oh, um, <laughs> to change your wine settings, 
the wine version you click on that plus and you can change it through here to change different wine stagings or wine setting wine versions good lord I can't speak today okay and I believe that is it um, kind of a haphazard video but hey it's all good so I hope this helped you install Guild Wars 2 um, it's one of my favorite games so enjoy <laughs>